Hello everyone and welcome back to the box office. Uh, there was a very interesting week and happened in the last week. Uh, I was wrong in some of my predictions. There's an interesting story with the wild robot that's not confirmed, but I do think it's fascinating. But what's of no shock, of course, is what came in first place this week, and that would be, of course, Smile 2. Smile 2 came in first, making $23 million in its opening weekend. Uh, the Wild Robot came in second, uh, only dropping 28% from week 3 to week 4, making another $10 million. I'll get to the funny story with that in a minute. Terrifier 3 came in third, uh, dropping only 51% from week 1 to week 2. Uh, I didn't mention last week uh, that it was a not-rated film, and I mentioned how great it was in a success story for that franchise and how much money it made in its opening weekend, but the fact that it's also an unrated film that opened number 1 last week crazy and it had a normal drop great for that movie uh beetlejuice came in fourth making another five million dollars in week seven and we live in time came in fifth making 4.1 million dollars and you'll see in my chart there it says it increased last week by 1699 percent you might be thinking holy shit that has to be some kind of record here's the thing Last week, it opened in five theaters and made 260 something thousand dollars, hence the egregiously huge increase from week one to week two. So, you know, that kind of explains that. So the interesting story I wanted to bring up about the wild robot was, uh, notably, it finished second above Terrifier 3 when last week it finished below Terrifier 3. And there are a lot of reports starting to come out saying that uh, teenagers have bought tickets to Wild Robot to then sneak into Terrifier 3, hence its kind of bump in the box office. And while I think that might be true, how true is it to get it exactly $1 million over the edge on Terrifier 3? We'd have to see. With that all down, let's dive into more specific numbers for the big films right now. Smile 2 now has $46 million worldwide. Uh, I've read different reports from different trades saying that the budget is around $28 million, which is a little bit more than the last film. However, you know, I do think it has uh, a long way to go for where Paramount wants to see the profits on this because obviously the first Smile was a huge hit compared to its $17 million budget. I think it made a little bit over $200 million worldwide, if I'm not mistaken. So, um, the fact that this is already open to 46 is a good sign, but I do think Paramount was hoping it'd be more of a solidified hit in its opening weekend. However, with the good word of mouth that the movie's been getting, I definitely foresee this movie getting well into the profitability range. We'll definitely see a Smile 3, and maybe even some spinoffs here at some point. Uh, the Wild Robot now has $196 million worldwide. It'll pass 200 any minute now, and that's on the budget of 78. It's officially hit that 2.5 number that you like to see. Uh, again, that varies movie by movie on how profitable it will actually be, but it's likely now going to be within that profitability range for the studio, which is great news for them, and they've already announced that they're going to be making more Wild Robot films, and I think it's very interesting. I haven't read any of the books they're based on, but I would be interested in doing so, and maybe if I get my life together, uh, I'll be able to do that. Terrifier 3. The success of this movie is continues to be crazy. Uh, $39 million worldwide so far. On a budget of two, Jesus, 19.7 times that budget already. Again, this small indie horror franchise that could, through word of mouth, becoming a hit. Such an incredible story. Awesome job for the filmmakers. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice now has $434 million worldwide. Again, a certified hit for Warner Brothers at 4.3 times that production budget. Kudos all around. Uh, we Live in Time, which came in fifth, has $4.5 million worldwide. It hasn't really opened that high in uh, international markets yet. Um, I don't have a budget for this listed, but I imagine it was probably in the lower mid-range. And if I find budget information on it next week, I'll be sure to share that as we dive into how this movie does from week to week. I'm sure that the studio is hoping that it finds its audience, hence the uh, slow rollout from theater to theater across the weeks. Uh, I also wanted to take a look at Joker Filet au Deux. This movie is $191 million worldwide so far, which for most movies would be a dream to make for this movie, however... With its budget being 190, some reporting even 200, it's just recuperated its production budget, which as we know is not nearly enough to become profitable. This is going to end up losing a lot of money for Warner Brothers, and it's a shame because, you know, uh, I just hate to see any movie fail, really. And uh, we'll see how much it actually ends up making before it gets pulled from theaters, because I believe, if I'm not mistaken, it already hits digital like next week or the end of the month, actually, on the 29th, I think. So, you know, again, it baffles me when studios do this to their own films continually. But um, in this case, with a major flop like this, 
you know, I, I think they kind of had to cut their losses and move on as quick as they could there. So the big question is what's going to be in the top five box office next week. And my predictions go as follows. This upcoming weekend sees the release of Venom, The Last Dance. Obviously, I think that's going to be opening to number one. Uh, early predictions, or not predictions, but projections, say it's going to be around $80 million, which is $10 million less than the last film, which opened at 90 uh, You know, different hype and different reasons kind of can see why that's happening. But uh, I, I imagine it'll open around there as well. We'll see how north and south of that number it actually ends up. Uh, I think Smile Hold, Smile Hold, Jesus, Smile 2 is going to stay in, not stay, God, It's late, and I'm recording this. Smile 2 is going to come in second place, uh, and I think it's going to have a decent drop, probably an exact 50%, maybe even a little bit less due to the word of mouth. Uh, Wild Robot's going to come in third, because even if kids are buying tickets to that to see Terrifier 3, it's still going to help its box office. Uh, I'll say that Terrifier 3 is going to stick around in fourth place, and I actually think that We Live in Time will stick around in fifth place. I think the word of mouth on that movie is going to gradually increase, especially with the stars attached in that film with Andrew Garfield and Florence Pugh. Um, you know, I think that that's going to stay in fifth place uh, and kind of have Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice be bumped out of the top five after it's many weeks in there. Uh, there are some other movies opening other than Venom 3, like Conclave uh, begins to do a slow rollout, as well as, uh, I believe it's called Your Monster. I believe that's what the Melissa Barrera movie is called. Forgive me if I have the wrong title. But I don't think they're going to make enough to really put a dent into this. Uh, I'm actually predicting We Live in Time to have a relatively small hold, maybe even make the same amount that it made last weekend. Uh, you know, we'll see how dumb I feel uh, next weekend when that happens. But, you know, you know, I've, I've been incredibly wrong and incredibly right before, so we'll see what happens again. Uh, but that'll do it for this episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please put your predictions in the comments below for next week. And if you're right, I'll shout you out on the episode. Again, thank you so much, and we'll see you next time.